All right, guys, welcome back. So I have another mail call of one six accessory parts for the figures that I have. And we're gonna take a look. I already got, took them out of the box and just taking them all out of the, the Ziploc baggies that they came in. So this is really like an unpackaging, I guess you call it, instead of an unboxing. <laughs> but uh, these, the first things I have are Bloody Fists from, I don't even know what character this is. I just got, I got them off of a website and they were wrapped in like yellow bandages. So, do you see the blood on the on the knuckles? Yeah, but I figured they'll look cool on somebody. It's two of them, left and right fist. So that's one. This next set of items I got from Monkey Depot. These are. These are from the Gangster Kingdom Veva figure. This is her right trigger finger with the ring on it. And her left gripping hand. And this is going to be for a kit bash that I'm working on from another female figure where she's going to be holding a sniper rifle and a briefcase in the left hand. So that's why I bought these. They were like they were like a dollar, two dollars a piece. And then the third hand is from a Black Panther figure from Hot Toys. I um bought this for my T'Chaka figure because I want to get that brown wooden looking hand uh shield that comes with one of the other Hot Toys uh, Black Panther figures. It's like a tribal looking shield, and the T'Chaka figure didn't didn't come with a gripping hand. At least not if if he did, then I probably lost him when I first got got the figure. But I didn't see any gripping hand, so I had to buy one for him to hold his shield. So. That's what this hand is for. And it has gold accents on the knuckles just to match the gold on him. So I thought that so I thought that was cool. Uh what I do with that other plastic baggie? This third item, I might have to I got I see I got the light on already. But I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but this is from the This is the watch from the Last of Us Joel figure. With the uh, with the broken uh, face on it, I also got this from Monkey Depot too. But it was like it was like four or five dollars for that for that accessory. Um, the next set is some foot pegs. Uh, I'll show them, but they're not really that big. But they they, they foot pegs, and and this I don't know this bag seems. Kind of difficult to open. Okay, I had to use my mouth <laughs> to open up a zipline. But they just long foot pegs for against the kingdom. Figure out I'm working on. Yeah, it's nothing really special. They just foot pegs. You can get those for like a dollar off of eBay, something like that. This right here, this next set is the web from the Hot Toy Spider Man. I just they they sell they sell the whole set, but I only need one of the short ones right here. Because the one I have to go with mine's broke. I don't know. I don't know why. Like we're, we're around the area where it connects to the to the body, that snapped off, and the other the, the big other piece is too big to fit inside the hole. So I had to buy me a whole new thing. These were like a dollar. So this whole thing right here was like a dollar. So no problem. And then the last thing that I bought. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get you. You are garbage. So, last thing I bought was a stand. This is the blank stand with it look like concrete on the thing from Monkey Depot. I forgot what figure it comes with. I want to say Aristocrat, but I could be wrong. But they, they still have them, though. And this is going to be from my 1973 uh, Wolverine figure. Hot Toys had already sold one, but there's another company, I think called Ad Toys, that, set, that just got put one on pre-order for much cheaper than Hot Toys, which I'm going to get, which I'm waiting for. But I... I seen this base and I wanted the base now. So I was like, yeah, I might as well get it while it's while I can still get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's it for, me. for now. Snaps in place. And I, I like these, but I wish more companies would do this. Is not put the name on the base. That way you can use different bases with different figures. You know what I'm saying? And make them more versatile. And then you can you can sell them easier. You know what I'm saying? Without the name on it. Just give us a nice looking base. And then just leave the base blank. I mean, unless you have to like. So in, I don't know, Iron Man figures, I guess. 
you can put the name on it, but just for regular figures, you don't need no, you don't need to put the name on there because I want to be able to make them versatile, you know? So, yeah. But that's it for the mail call today, guys. Follow me for more. Any comments, like, comment, and subscribe. Any comments you have, questions you have, let me know in the comment section, y'all. Bye. Thanks for watching.